when you're ready. I was asked the other day, in the fiery furnace of Hades, why my story was still taught to the children of the present age. I myself was shocked as to why the question needed to be asked. The greed, power struggle and corruption that plagues this world is the same intrinsic issue that inhabited and ultimately destroyed me. First and foremost, no one regrets my actions more than me. I should have listened to my heart in the time before the murder took place. He hath honoured me of late, and I had gained the golden opinions of many. Yet still did I drive that knife into his chest. But wondering what value my story still has, you need not look further than most of today's politics. They are everything I was and more. They, they connive behind the back of their kinsmen and say to themselves, stars hide your fires. Let not light see my black and deep desires. Can people not see how interrelated my society was to your own? Many the fool chases power with his life after a small loan of $1 million, building his empire with being an already successful man with the wealth of many kings and power to do what he wants. Why stab his own country in the dark of night, put himself on the throne and throw the blame to another? Mark my words, they will yet fall further than myself ever could. How can one be so blind so as to not see the corruption sneaking its way into every godless man? Barely a week passes without another snake being trapped in his ill deeds of the past. It's not just the silver-tongued flatterers of the people that reflect my story, but all the grieved in today's fit and healthy men who search for that satisfaction in money, who seek to avoid punishment for their wrongs, much like I did, after my hands were not washed clean with all of Neptune's water. Day after day, hour after hour, all our yesterdays as light of the fool's way to dusty death, and nothing has changed, nothing, from my day to yours. All the past tomorrows have killed many the fool who chases my own power. I was corrupted by a simple thing, the thought of power. I dreamed of kingship and let nothing stand in my way. Even my strongest friendship, or deepest loyalty, or dearest love. I cannot atone for what I did, but even still my hands were tied, you must see, by a higher power. That of fate. With what weird sisters told me in mind, I knew that the path ahead to the throne was clear for me, no matter the means. The Prince of Cumberland was a step that I must overleap, but fell upon all men try to protect and guard their future wealth and well-being, just as I did. We plan for these 80 years of life, but life creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. Many men, like me, will waste the life, their life yesterday, today and tomorrow, and will continue to fall into the gaping hole of greed and power. The wars and constant battles for control and supremacy of my age has not lessened in yours. Take the foolish former Thane of Cordor. He risked his title and his life was forfeit the moment he attacked and betrayed our country. Lest I can call it my country now, for the wrongs have I done. Oh, Scotland, Scotland, the blood I have spilled from you. So that they can pray that they do not stray from the straight and narrow and aim for honest gains, rather than what I sought, which led to my demise. My life is the moral of the story. I am the lesson to be learned. Can you call a greater character from mine own story? Why, even the very name calls me into the greatest importance. The fundamental characteristics of human nature render my story transcendental 
because the struggles explored are universally inherent in all human beings and therefore all stories and situations also. Although the specificities concerning the corruption in me may appear different upon initial observation, they are manifestations of deeper truths that are about the human condition that will always, always be present in every society.